Mm. This floor is actually so silent. It's actually perfect for exercises. <sighs> Valerie, what are you doing? Stretching. I'm gonna do some jumping jacks later. Don't you know what these wooden cobblestones are for? They're for horses, you silly. Oh. You can find wooden cobblestones like these all over Prague, especially in passages and courtyards of old houses. They're horseshoe silencers. Back then, if a horse would arrive into the courtyard of the house and step on stone cobblestones, it would create such a loud noise that it would wake up and disturb everybody who lived here. So eventually, somebody very smart came up with the idea of replacing these stone cobblestones with wooden ones. Useful things like these that would make people's lives much easier can be found all over the historical city center today. But most people just pass them by without even knowing their original purpose. How about we'll bring them back to life today? The next useful thing is not so far from here. It is just behind the old town hall. It is a well. Men should cry that wells like these are things of the past. But before I explain why, let me tell you where we are. We are now in Malen Amnesty, which translates as Little Square. This square is a bit overlooked because of its neighbor, Old Town Square. One thing you can notice here is the density of houses, which Old Town Square doesn't have. And that's what makes this place even more magical and cozy. This well has been here since 16th century. Apparently, it had pretty good quality of water because it was located far away from the sewers. Plus, it was next to this big water reservoir where people could get the water for their households. And ladies loved coming here because in the evenings when they had to refill their tubs and straps with water, they had an opportunity of catching up and maybe even gossiping. That made it a perfect opportunity for men to step in and offer their helping hand to carry the those heavy tubs with water. Can I help you, Valerie? Sure, how do I get to the next stop? Just walk through the passage over there and you're gonna be there in five minutes. Okay, let's go. Next stop is Old Town Market. You might be thinking, Valerie, how can you overlook this? This is so huge. And in a sense, you're right. It's impossible not to see this building because how big it is. But if we would compare the attention it gets now to the attention that it used to get, you would understand my point. Looking at the outside decorations, you will be able to tell what this beautiful neo-Renaissance building was used for. It was a market. It was built at the end of the 19th century to replace the non-hygienic outside market. Once a building, team with life, nowadays anyone barely looks at it. But hey, let's not lose hope. There are plans to reopen this market and we cannot wait to see the results. Well, let's go to our next... Oh, look at that. This bollard is really begging for attention. It's already second time that it interrupted our video. Nowadays, just a convenient dog public toilet and obstacles for pedestrians, these boundary stones used to fulfill a very particular function. They would protect the plaster of the houses from the unskillful coachmen. You can find them in many places in Prague. In the street Husova, where we are right now, you can find at least 10 of them. This down there is Bradach. Originally, it was located on one of the pillars of the Judith Bridge, the predecessor of Charles Bridge. Today, down there is a replica. This man used to have a very important job. When the water in the river would reach his facial hair, it was a signal to all the people who lived at the shore to abandon their houses because the flood was coming. Prague of the past would be in big trouble without a mill like this one. The channel? No, not this channel. This channel is known as Prague Venice nowadays. It was created in the 12th century by the Order of Maltese Knights to power nine original mills of the lesser town. The grain was transported to Prague, stored and milled in the mills like these. So this building right here was an important helper and without it, Prague of the past would be quite hungry. Actually, I'm quite hungry right now. Is it lunchtime yet? Damn it, it's not lunchtime yet. 
I hope this sundial works properly. Sundials like these are another thing that not many proggers even look at. You can still find them on many buildings. One interesting example is this one in Clementinum. There are two dials that show the hours of the morning and the afternoon. Actually, I promised to meet my friend at the Old Town Square at 12, but I'm so tired to walk there. Maybe I should take a taxi, but not this taxi. Let's go to Turn Taxi Palace. This family was in charge of the post office services and since the 16th century worked as a direct post office line between Prague and Vienna. These carriages used to have a very characteristic yellow color. Reminds you of something, right? Wait, because there's even more similarities to taxis here, because later people started to take advantage of the carriages and hop on them to get to the nearby village. Unfortunately, they don't offer these services here anymore, but at least the palace has this very characteristic yellow color. And I guess I have to walk now. Do you know what this is? This is called Prague Locket. Prague Locket is an old measurement that derives from the length of your arm to your elbow. This one comes from 13th century and it measures 591.4 millimeters. Back then, every merchant used to have their own wood carved locket that they had to compare to this one just to make sure that nobody is cheating when selling the fabric. Pretty convenient. back to where we started, at exactly 12 o'clock. How do I know it without looking at my watch? Because of the Prague Meridian. When the shadow of this column was aligning with a golden line on the ground, it meant that it was exactly 12 o'clock. I wonder where's my friend, because we were supposed to meet here at 12. Oh, right. The Meridian doesn't work anymore. Do you guys know why? Please leave it in the comments and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.